been of our activity so far. Um, it's basically to look at the, the, there was a need established or identified to know who are the collective structures. We know that there's auditing and mapping processes for ECD centers in different ways, in different places, UNICEF and Gauteng at the at one stage. So we don't want to know each center. That's, you're going to spend a lot of time actually doing that and you need quite a bit of money. But how do we connect it? So whether it's called the local ECD forum, just in the local municipality, all the way through to a province, all the way into the intersectoral forum, which is now through the terms of reference being established uh, by the Department of Social Development. So all of these things we're going to have to try and link it up so that the information is flowing nicely. That will obviously be helpful in establishing a good communication system for the ECD sector. Um, a little bit of a, another way of putting it is, is part of this unifying voice. <laughs> if we know that we've sent through the policy to everybody and we did get some, and people can then reply, we don't have to be the voice in a sense, but you facilitated this information piece. Uh, so whether they get a thousand replies saying A must be spelled with a capital or oh, with a small letter, not with a capital for young kids. That's what we want to know, so people can realize that people have looked at this and that people are engaged and are knowledgeable about the policy. Mm -hmm. And it becomes, or they can send it to us and we can collect it and send it through. So I think there's, there's going to be different ways of using it over in the future. Obviously, we can then do a bit more support to existing networks. Some are stronger than others. Um, and how do we help build capacity to better network, even within the network, could be another function going forward. Things like Elifa is looking at saying, how do we utilize, how do we build, how do we make sure that the networks are functional? Um, we have got experiences like the Alliance that, you know, they, they started up but they fall down. So the ECDI, ECDI is going for eight, nine years, uh, gone sideways for maybe a year now, but there, there's progress, there's capacity, there's existing relationships. How do we strengthen that instead of just breaking a separate thing? But in other provinces, it's very really weak. Uh, the Popo, one, Northern Cape, we're not actually even sure how and when, if there is something like that. So some of these networks might not even exist, or they might, might have died down. So it will obviously be then also a space for engagement. So issues like the QCTO, how do we distribute that as an issue for the sector through this communication network? Okay. Um, We've used the Eastern Cape as a pilot to gather some of the existing information about existing networks. Um, and we looked at that and how that came through. Last, in the last meeting we did a bit of a presentation with some graphs of how we can then look at how is it, what's the connectedness of people in the province and then even province between provinces because some groups do operate on a national level. 